Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Slant Lens, we're gonna look at photo conferences, photo video conferences. Are they dead? Are they gonna happen this year? Is it kind of COVID, the nail in the coffin for conferences because they were sliding before? Where exactly are they at? What's gonna happen? And what can you expect coming in 2021 and 2022? So let's get right into it. This video is sponsored by SKB. It's a case that'll protect all your precious cargo when you're traveling. This is not where I keep my cat. Or maybe it is. No, it's not where I keep my kitty. So travel with SKB because it'll protect all your equipment. We just went to WPPI. WPPI was a lot of fun to be there. It was great to be with other photographers again, to be able to sit in the classes, to hear people talk about their businesses, show their work, and really teach photography principles but it was so small. I mean, they had only about under 4,000 people that registered. This is what I heard, this is nothing official. And about 20 or, well, about 3,000 people actually picked up their badges. So it was a very small show. The conference was lacking so many people. Sony wasn't there, Nikon wasn't there, just a whole group of people that didn't come. So in thinking about that, you might think, well, conferences are dead. There's no place for them any longer. I don't believe that's the case. I think we're in a building process here. They had taken a year and a half off because of COVID, it came out a time when most people aren't used to having WPPI, it became a reset conference. And I think if you look at it in that way, I think it's going to grow and be back on track in the future. Why should you go to a conference? I think there's a lot of great reasons. One, you get information at conferences that it's very difficult to get anywhere else. How often do photographers open their doors, allow you to look at their business practices, understand exactly their process, show your pro their process, teach and mentor? You don't really get that in any other place except for clubs and conferences, those kinds of places that bring photographers together and allow you to be able to, to work together and learn together. And I think because of that, it's a really valuable experience to have. There's nothing like hands-on to grab something and to be able to hold it and to use the camera and to understand it and to be able to get a sense on whether it's gonna work for you or not. And I think all this kind of equipment is really about that. What's innovation out there? What's the cameras that are coming out? What do you want to test? and hold and see and figure out and I think that's one of the reasons conferences are so important. But really the main one for me is the one I started off with and that is a kind of a mentoring at a distance. People are teaching their process and talking about what they do and I think that is really the foundation for helping you to grow in your business and be able to get new ideas, to get excited again because we all become a little stale sometimes and it's hard for us to keep going but conferences give us a little, a little jolt, a little uh, Pump, heart pump, a little brrr, keep you going. So here's some of the conferences that are coming up. Uh, we will. We just had Sh Shutterfest on September 8th to 10th. Shutterfest is a great conference. It's a small, intimate conference in a great location in St. Louis. That, that building is just so fun to shoot in, and people go there to shoot. They have models. You can go down and check out a model and go shoot, and people bring their gear, they bring their strobes, and they come to shoot, and that's what made that conference so really in, enjoyable. You have great speakers, and you got a great location, and you get to shoot. All right, next we have Cinegear in Los Angeles. Cinegear in Los Angeles has been a favorite show of mine for years. It's always been at the Paramount back lot, and this year it is not. It's going to be at the LA Convention Center, which is unfortunate because it really kind of the whole vibe of that show was outside at the lot, the place where so many famous, incredible movies were made. So many actors walked those lot, that lot and those buildings. But it will still have uh, vendors and speakers and people coming together to talk about the industry and to be able to share their thoughts and views on what's happening in the market. And I think that's really important. All right, going on from there, we have Photo Plus, a scheduled uh, September 30th to October 2nd, uh, back in New York City in the Javits Center. Although they have gotten rid of all their education, which is a little unfortunate for Photo Plus, I feel like that really was the, the backbone, the strength of that show, was you, get, you got to hear speakers in a lot of commercial application. And it's really a trade show. It's a two day trade show, but that trade show brings in a lot of great vendors. And what has happened is because that education is not out in the different lecture halls and what have you, is all the vendors have brought that education onto the trade show flow. Floor, flow, floor. So they're, they're really meeting and you've got great speakers in all the different booths that are there and the vendors are creating that, that, that vibe. All right, but moving on from that, we now have after NAB, or no, after uh, Photo Plus is NAB, October 9th through 13th. 
I predict that NAB will be a very strong show. We know NAB has been great in the past. We want it to be great in the future. And so I think vendors are going to show up and they're going to make it happen. And I think if, they, if we will come and support it, it'll be a great show. All right, then looking at next year, just a couple off the top of my head, WPPI 2022, as we said, you can sign up. That's going to be in February. We have Imaging USA that's going to be in Washington, D.C., January 16th to the 18th. I've not been to Imaging USA. Um, it's something I'd like to do this year and just be able to see exactly how that show's going and, and what's going to happen there. So that if you're on the East Coast, that's a great show to take in in Washington, D.C. So there's my sense on photo conferences. Are they dead? I don't think so. I think they're going to continue. I think they may pare down. I think a lot of them may go to a hybrid where you are in person, but they also have a lot of online Zoom classes that are shared afterwards. And they've been trying this for a long time, trying to get you to buy the classes afterwards or to buy a package. I wish they would do that, a package where you spend X number of dollars for an extra hundred bucks. Uh, you get all of the uh, classes as Zoom classes, or all of them as uh, recorded video classes you can go back and look at because there's always great information there. Grab your face mask, go to a conference, you'll have a great time, you'll be educated, and you'll have a, a I already said that. So there you have it. Grab your mask, go to a conference, you're going to have a great time. So you keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Leave me a comment, make sure you subscribe. I truly believe that uh, music picks you. You don't pick to be a musician. Music will find the people that they want to represent them. And once you hit the bug, there's nothing you can do about it. If I were to be born today, I think given the opportunity, I'll do music again. It's been so fulfilling and rewarding and people come and shake your hand and go like, man, I was having a bad day. You guys really just, it, that's when you realize you're only a vessel. It's coming from somewhere else. You're being used to bring peace, healing, whatever it is that that person or those people may need at the moment. And then we go back to being regular knuckleheads going through life. But that's what music does. I'm Oscar Cartaya, I'm a musician. And when I go around the world, my traveling partner is SKV Cases. <laughs>